Hello, this video is a demonstration of the process to print an assembly from a 3D printer. In this case, the assembly is a pipe wrench. The first step in the process is to develop the concept. In this case, we just need to look at a real pipe wrench. From this picture, we see it is constructed of three parts, the handle, the top piece, and the adjusting nut. The next step is to create drawings with dimensions for each part. This is the drawing for the handle, top piece, and nut. The drawings are then used to create 3D models known as CAD or computer aided designs. To create the handle part of the pipe wrench, the dimensions were transferred to a 2D sketch. The sketch was then extruded to create a 3D shape. To finish the handle, the hole where the top piece is inserted is cut out from the model. For the top piece, the top part is created first using a sketch and the extrude function. Then a cylindrical shaft is created for the part that inserts into the slot in the handle. Next, a small sketch is created that will be used to create the threading. The threading is then created using the sketch and a spiral function in the CAD program. Lastly, the shaft is trimmed to fit into the slot in the handle. The last piece is created by transferring the dimensions into a sketch and then extruding them, using a sketch and the spiral function to create the threading, and finally trimming the edges. The completed models are then exported to another program which converts the models into commands for the printer. This is done for each part in the assembly. Looking closer, you can see arrows that indicate movement commands for the printer. The files containing the commands are then run on the printer. The printer prints out each part in ABS plastic by laying the parts out one layer at a time. This video shows what the process looks like. Speeding up the video, the part begins to take shape. Each part is printed in this fashion. Once the parts are printed, the pipe wrench can be assembled. Just like a real pipe wrench, the jaws can be adjusted by turning the nut. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.